In this video, we're going to cover filtering logic. Filtering is used when you, when you want to filter a set of answers or topics based on the answers to previous questions. So for example, brands that you want to filter out based on brand selected previous questions or any other sort of type of filtering. To demonstrate filtering, I'm going to use the rules demo survey and the PC preview emulator instead of the mobile preview. I'm going to right click the filtering demo question and start the emulator from this question. First I choose one or more of the following colors. Let's choose red, blue, silver, and white. The next question shows me only the colors that I've chosen in the previous question. And now I have to choose one of them. Let's choose blue. The next question is a single choice grid question that shows me again only the topics that I've selected in the first question. It shows me the topics based on the answers to the first question, so red, blue, silver, and white. I have to say which one of these colors I like and how much. So let's, re let's rate red as very much, blue as very much, silver as not at all, and white is not at all. Next, I'm getting shown only the choices in the previous questions that were marked very much. These are red and blue. If I go back, I see that red was marked as very much and blue was marked as very much. I choose one of them. Next, I'm going to ask about the answers or the colors which I marked not at all. Silver and white. So if I go back to the ranking question, I see that silver and white were ranked not at all. It asked me which of these colors I would consider to paint my house with. So maybe silver and not at all for white. Finally, here's a demonstration of randomly picking three out of the seven or out of the eight colors and displaying them to me, green, blue, and black. And again, we pick out topics, in this case, blue and black. Filtering can be done based on many variables and many types. Let's start with seeing how to filter answers based on other answers. As you recall, the first question asked me to pick a set of colors out of the red, green, blue, yellow, silver, white, and black colors. The second question filters out only the, one, the choices from my previous question. This is done through the script by using the filter answers by answers function. If you are not familiar with the filter answers by answers function or any other of our internal functions, head over to our support site at support.dubo.net and enter handbook in the search box. This will bring up the built-in functions handbook post. There's a link to download the full manual reference. The reference manual contains descriptions of all of our functions, including the filter answers by answers function. Each function contains an example, remarks, the parameters involved, and a description. We use the filter answers by answers to filter the current question's answers based on the answers of question number six. Question number six is our previous and question. This is question number six. This will make sure to display only the answers that were chosen in question number six. If instead 
we wanted to show only the questions, the answers that were not chosen in question number six, we can do that by adding a false parameter here. This will then only show in question number seven the answers that were not chosen in question number six. Next up is filtering topics based on answers. As you recall, the next question asks us to rate the colors that were chosen in question number one and rate them either very much that we like them so-so or not at all. To only display the topics that were chosen in question number one, we go to the start script and use the filter topics by answer function. This function filters out the current question topics based on the answers that were chosen in question number six. It is important to make sure that the topics in this question use the same set of values as the question you are filtering from. In this case, we're using an answer scale. You can head over to the video series of creating a basic survey to understand answer scales and how to configure them. But the answer scale that is used in this question and throughout all the filtering questions are the same. The filtering topics by answer function will leave visible only the topics that were selected in question number six or only the topics that match the answers selected in question number six. If, however, we want to leave visible only the topics that match the answers that were not selected in question number six, we can all add the false parameter to this function. This will achieve the exact opposite of what we previously did. Next up is filtering the answers of a question based on the values from the topics of a previous question. As you recall, the next question asks us to choose the single color that we like based on the colors that we marked very much in the previous question topics. The previous question showed us the topics based on the colors that we chose in the first question, and we could rate them very much so, so, or not at all. In this question, the next one, would show us only the colors that we rated very much. To do that, in the start script, we use the filter answers by topics function. We pass over the current question, the question that holds the topics, and the value we want to filter. So we only want to keep visible in this question the answers that match the topics in the previous question that matched value number one in their outcome. Value number one is, as you recall, the very much. So by configuring this filter answers by topic, specifying this question number eight, which is the previous question, and marking value number one, this will filter out and do exactly what we want. Next up is filtering topics based on other topics values. As you recall, the next question showed us only the colors that were marked not at all in the previous other question and required us to rate them whether we will consider them or not. To do that, we go to the start script and use the filter topics by topics function. We tell it to filter the current question's topic and only keep visible the topics in question number eight that will mark as two or three in the values. Question number eight, the values of two and three are so-so or none at all. This means that this question will only show the topics that were rated so-so or not at all in question number eight. Finally, 
we can filter or show and hide answers or topics based on some custom logic. This can be any logic that we wish. As you recall, the next question asks us to choose one of the random colors that were chosen. Note that the answer list is again seven colors, but then in the script we add some custom code that shows and hide the question or filters out the answers based on some custom code. In this sample custom code, what we did is define a random answers array by calling the create random array function, passed it a size of three, a minimum value of one, and a maximum volume, uh, value of seven. We then set all of the answers to a visible state of false, which means to hide all the answers, and we loop over the random answers array over the length and set the specific answer visible of the randomized of the randomly chosen answer to true, which means to, to make it visible. This essentially chooses three answers randomly and puts them as visible true. We do the same with the topic question where we ask for a random topic. Instead of using the set answer visible, we're using the set topic visible function. First to turn all topics to visible false, and then using the set topic visible to true. This is just a sample to show you how you can use the set topic visible and set answer visible functions to create custom filtering based on custom code. In this demo, we covered filtering logic.